Let's go. Uh, All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of How Not to Podcast, uh, featuring Ko Awesome, hey, LP Five, uh, <laughs> uh, Plant Gamerhood, and Shadow King, and uh, including me, the real <laughs> core man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the real corpse. And the, the real corpse. Hey, yeah, guys, bro. He's cool. breathing and no. <laughs> breathing. <He's> breathing. <laughs> oh my god. He he's breathes. breathing, bro. No, I'm just kidding. You fucked us. It's just me, Angel. Fuck oh, it's up. our funny yeah. guy. Whoa. Whoa. We know corpse. Epic yeah. 2021 prank. So yeah, right. apparently corpse uh, made a recording of a breathing, and uh, people are hating them. So yeah, big Omega moment. Omega lol. I know. I don't see how to get mad over a video of someone breathing. I I don't know. It, it, uh, he even called it. I, I mean, okay, if you want to, you can reference it to George Floyd if you want, but that's not. But, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not what <laughs> he was trying to get. So I don't know. Even that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! You never, bro. Fuck's sake. You never know what people will do nowadays, so it's just honestly, people are oh, suing people over stupid shit and all. Yeah, it's, it's all, honestly. Hey, we don't, can't we he barely even... breathe anyways because it's like acid yeah. reflux. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. there's a yeah. condition yeah, yeah. that causes his voice to be low or some shit as well. Too. Like he's actually sick, man. And, and everyone's just fucking <laughs> like... either religiously fucking worshiping this man. Or they're just, they have a hate cult against him. It's one of the two. Because it's of like, his voice. It's like, if you mention they're the name Corpse Husband, everyone goes bananas. They're, they're like, oh my god! Ah! It's like, Jesus oh. Christ, chill the fuck out. All, these, all these fucking fans are like fucking their body pillows listening to a compilation of Corpse Husband talking. Oh god. <laughs> oh <no. laughs> That's terrible. I see, that's one thing I don't understand. I don't understand how a bunch of people can get all riled up over a voice. Like, dude, chill out. If you heard the voice of Bro, God... <laughs> I don't know. It's because it's because all the viewers are like <laughs> my kids, my freaking son, right? preteen, teenage girls going through puberty, so they're like their peak of just like being riled up, and they're like, "Oh, a voice! Oh, oh a voice! Oh, I'm so <laughs> horny. Oh God, <laughs> he's my prince, charming." <laughs> I know, bro. Exactly. Which one is worse, Dream or Call Me Carson? Which one is worse? Wait, what? Who's worse, Call Me Carson or Dream? Dream. Uh, call Me Carson's all right, know. but like I don't know. No, I'm but... kidding. From what I've heard mm-hmm. about Dream and like what I've seen like clips of him and like quacks. Wait, 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 what happened with Dream? I never Was liked cheating or the dog sing? I, both. I, both. Both. Uh I never liked Dream. So, so, his okay. girlfriend. Oh yeah, his girlfriend's like his ex girlfriend supposed to say he cheated on him. And then he came out with a Twitter like uh post saying like no, you know, she had like mental problems and shit. And she's the one who, who cheated on him. Who cares if know? he cheated, dude? That's his personal fucking life. Like, dude, I'm sure, but, like... Just the fact that he got docs sucks, dude. Though. But most I people feel fucking... My God. Not most people, I don't say that. But I feel like, like... I mean, uh, at least half of all people in relationships fucking cheat at some point in some way to some extent. I think, like, but the thing I'm saying is, like... Not to or excuse it, but, like... Like, no one's in the right to fucking judge anyone for fucking some cheating. Some plan who you cheat on. Yeah, uh, my fucking right them. hand with my left hand, bro. My right <laughs> oh, hand's shit. pretty pissed. It's starting to develop <laughs> arthritis. It doesn't work like it used to. I may, I may actually be getting arthritis in my right hand. Damn, but damn, it's funny because I'm like cheating on my left hand with your right hand. I mean, what? Whoa! This motherfucker okay, fucking, fucking, way, way, fucking way, plan has kidding. like two right hands now. Is that part of the script? <laughs> well, we're just, we're just oh, yeah, this is scripted. Hold on. Yeah, this scripted is scripted, over. guys. It's scripted totally. What are we the awesome show? Why are you there? Well, he was also docs, like really bad. You know, Dream was really docs, horrible. He got docs you know? pretty hard. Yeah. 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 Meanwhile, they put his mortgage. freaking out over his neck reveal in the fucking Mr. Beast <laughs> YouTube Rewind but, 2020. Like, Weird ass motherfuckers. I know, man. Yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, and the call me Carson shit, bro. I know he was a bitch this whole time, though. Yeah, so right, he's already been pretty but... kind of nutty anyways. So, like, yeah. but I mean, it's not, that doesn't imply anything like that, obviously. I mean, the second girl came out, weird... he was 17, and but he was 20. Whole... And it's like, No, yikes. he was 19. The... The... No, no, there was the one that was 19, came out. there was a second one that came out, and he was 20. Yeah. Oh. He already turned 20, yeah, and she so was 17. that's kind of a fat rip on him, bro. 
And also back in like 2018, he tried to start a different podcast, but like tried to steal the podcast that he was on with raccoon eggs and some other guy and blame it on the guy who had like mental problems because he actually like had like uh, oh, the narrator or whatever. Like I saw the whole yeah. video. Oh, I didn't see the whole video. I saw part yeah. of it and I got bored. Oh, you got to see the ending, bro. That was like straight up shit, bro. I think <laughs> they like, have don't... issues. I don't care. Oh, Man, but then he kind of said that it was similar reason why the lunch club ended. Because the same things that happened with the podcast they had with Raccoon X and the other one, the narrator. So that's why the lunch club. Hey, everyone around. talks about, well, used to talk about Raccoon X. I don't even know who that is. Yeah. He's basically dead at this point. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's dead. Anymore. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. CSGO, you know, he got too popular. CSGO wasn't the game anymore. He quit. Like a <laughs> little bitch. All right. Uh, like what do you guys think about Pog Champion, man? About what? Pog Champion, Pog Champ. man. Yeah, that email from Twitch of like <laughs> that guy. This is the stupidest fucking shit ever. It's like okay, it, it goes down this rabbit hole of like, fuck. I don't have like my wording prepped properly for this. It goes down the rabbit hole of like canceling things by association or like this is bad. Okay, it's like the, for example, um, it's like vegans oh, saying if you support, it's like is an example vegans saying. You're a bad person, or you're supporting something because you like do this one little thing, or do this or that, even if you're not like directly supporting or like whatever, right? Like, tell me, by living in a society, like you could call all this hardcore vegans hypocrites because you're like literally supporting a society that like supports like the abuse and like eating of animals and blah blah. Like, you may as well go be a fucking hippie. Take it. Like, it's that sort of like extremism. So Twitch is like, oh, we're like gonna cancel the Pog Champ emote because uh, by using the image of this guy who supported the riots we're supporting rioting indirectly it's like shut the fuck up like dude it's a fucking meme it's an image it's some random dude's face who no one actually gives a fuck about the actual dude like it's not giving him any more attention if anything you're giving him more attention by fucking calling attention to it by being like we're canceling it and attributing additional meaning to it that like literally no one is giving it an attention so, in regards by, like, to that in, in regards to that <laughs> debate, um there's two things i want to point out one We'll get to later, but I'll talk. I'll talk a little snippet of it though. Um, in regards to the whole thing with like uh, Twitch, uh, quote unquote, trying to hide it or whatever. It's obviously that they're not trying to hide it. They're actually trying to like throw it in everyone's face that oh, this is what he did. Hey everybody, look, it's the guy that did this. Hey everybody, well, they're, take um, a look. What's the what's the word when you like trying to um call things out and cancel things? You're called a um. It's called Virtue signaling, right? Isn't that what Virtue it is? Virtue signaling, maybe. Uh, what's I don't the know if I'm using this in the correct manner. And then no, the other... I never so, heard in my, and then, in my and then There's more stuff I want to get in regards to the whole thing with the censorship and all that, which I'll, we'll get to that later because we have another topic in regards to that. But the other thing I also wanted to add, which from what I've heard, I don't know if it's a fish or not, but I've heard that they're going to just replace the PogChamp face with someone else's face or do something like mm -hmm. that. Or... Yeah, and if they're they doing that, that, then fine. As long as the word doesn't go away just because of one stupid person, tr try to keep the fucking meme in its context. Because, I mean, it's still, it's something that everyone's. I think it's able ridiculous to they're like even reacting well, like, I mean, doing what they're doing. They don't the have to place. completely replace the PogChamp, uh, the PogChamp email because we already basically already have, a, we already have a replacement with that because, you know, there's the Pepe Pog. Emote that basically yeah, means the that's same what thing. I thought because I was yeah. like, Well, there's Pepe, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Oh, Pe Pepe's, I think... uh, Pepe, uh, white supremacist, uh, fuck KKK, uh, <laughs> oh cancel Pepe. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, bye. I think that's horseshit, yeah. right there. Yeah, that was definitely I horseshit. It's, it's the CNN. same as this shit. It's like, <laughs> dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this guy's not getting like any extra clout off fucking Pog Champ. Any oh, attention wow. or fame, like personally, he got off of that. He's already like gotten like it's it's well beyond that i still don't even know who the guy is I exactly that's yeah. my point. but now people are gonna fucking be like who is he Start like after up. fucking twitch said so. the years gone yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's definitely crazy i remember that when that was funny back in my day back in 20 when was that made 2010 20 so when was that made when was part time created Oh shit! I don't, I don't know, fucking know, know, man. I don't know. All I know is it was a I, thing at one back point. Back in my in day, it was like a Twitch meme Asian, too. That Asian white man did that face of surprise. It made me laugh. The poggers, man. Poggers. I man. became a doctor after that. 
Yo, I let's have Angel patient. the next Pog Champ oh. face. <laughs> I'm down. We need yeah, this. Bro. Yo, Killer. Twitch, if you're watching this, have Angel as your mascot for Pog Champ. Let's do this. Yeah, bro. Let's oh, fucking yeah. do this. Funniest. I want this to happen. Yeah, the funniest man in the group. Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, for fuck's sake. Pres I like how President Trump got banned from the internet. That's, that's Yo, did you hear Trump got banned from Shopify? <laughs> yeah, he's getting never, banned from everything. Funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, they banned him from Shopify? Yeah, they banned him from Shopify. Shopify. <laughs> like, so, you see all these big names okay, like, okay, that okay. banned him like, on the first like rollout of who where he got banned, and then one was just like Shopify. Shopify? And as soon as Shopify did it, I don't know. I don't know. We're like, hey, we'll do it. <laughs> Out of all fucking yeah. places, he has to be shopping for. <laughs> That's the most no, 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 random thing about it, though. <laughs> the fact that other places are doing that, though, if you think about it, that's actually kind of fucking scary. And I'll explain why. Because it's one of those if you do something the majority doesn't like, and they've and it's now been historically proven now, then every single part, every single giant corporation is going to start censoring you. And that's a scary fucking thought. And that's already I, been before, a big concern. Before I even continue, before I even yeah. continue. I don't support any of that rioting shit. I fucking I I was against that shit. I didn't I did not like it. It was an of act of stupidity. Anyway. Yeah, it was an <laughs> act of pure fucking stupidity. What happened, dude? Well, how did that start? Actually, I don't even know like anything. Like I heard that it happened, but I just didn't like. They stormed. <laughs> um, how did uh, they? I don't know. They just like raided the Capitol at Washington D.C. And once they got in, they were just having a party, taking selfies. But like now, yeah. Oh, but like they now. Did the dream. Um, Bro. But, but like now the FBI they, they, they turned the White House into a trap house, dog. I'm like the FBI is is literally tracking down every single person that like like they that stole went into the a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, they did. Steal they stole documents. Shit, they stole like uh, they stole Nancy Pelosi's computer, <laughs> which also <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they oh, yeah, stole a the podium. Way, those motherfuckers online that are trying to oh, say yeah, the oh, BL the uh, BLM rides is worse than the Capitol or vice versa. They're trying to compare it. Bro, both of them are wrong. Fuck you. It's like, honestly, whoever, all the people online doing that shit, I just want you to know, go fuck yourself for doing that. Because it's like, I mean, both yeah. of them are fucking, you're, they're destroying property, and it's like they're fucking doing all this fucking damage and shit. It's like, bro. You, you, both, both sides are only, extremely hypocritical. I, I am. I'm really upset about the police response, though, to the the Capitol riots. I'm really upset about that. Yeah, yeah and I was too. Neither, when I when I saw that shit, I was right too. And and that point. that really did let me down. On Is that. that that that? Yeah, it's like. Oh, and so then I saying? love how all the fucking um huge members of the Trump administration are taking the they're pussying out like little fucking bitches like right now. They're fucking taking the easy way out. They're like, um, I'm resigning like before Trump's term is up and they can like get in trouble. They're basically taking the easiest way out. They're they're like, oh, I'm resigning. Like, I don't condone. I can't swear. I can't believe you, Trump dude. did That's this. And they're they're so political. Like they're That's they're like basically shifting in a nutshell. Yeah, it's so fucked though because like Trump's nothing without his. He's not nothing per se, but he like obviously a lot of what he wanted done, he didn't. Like couldn't do himself. His administration made it happen. So all the people who are actually fucking responsible for everything his administration did and like would get a lot of like basically shit, especially once he's out of office and they're still around and they kind of like the heat's brought down on them. They all fucking pussied out. His whole administration just fucking like turned tail on him and fucking ran and fucking resigned. And they're like, I resign and like wrote these like lengthy letters like why they're resigning. I'm resigning because Trump's changed in the past four months since this election <laughs> or whatever. And I can't believe the person he's but it's like bitch he's the same person. It's like he has been like what the fuck do you mean? They're Aren't like, they I, I can't believe and right I don't now? condone it. And after the riot and I can't believe this happened and they're basically shifting like all the fucking like responsibility for anything they did while in his administration onto him and his supporters basically scapegoating them so that they can fucking quietly use the fucking chaos of this all to like try and take a high moral high ground of some sort and fucking like pussy out and like dip and this on goes the, back whole to the whole thing with the internet censorship thing this goes back to that whole fucking thing Wait, towards does? like Aren't, with the whole, with, with everyone fucking just banning Trump off the internet or whatever. Too, I think he should like, have been banned on Twitter. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, Twitter. Uh, yeah, yeah, Twitter's exactly. too dangerous. It has too much of a voice. 
Dude. Twitter's not responsible enough themselves as a platform for fucking say. It's, it's like yeah. if you gave like a dictator who has a ton of charisma and a ton of like influence, like that's the whole issue with influencers. Like how much do you hold the influencer themselves responsible? But okay, like, but if you if like, you ban one I person, if you censor one person, you're censoring everyone at that point. Then I think and there's a the point problem. at which. Bro. I, I I agree it's a slippery slope, but I also think that in this situation, at least in the at least in the context of Twitter itself, because of how much of a fucking influence it has and how much of an influence he has on there and how toxic that platform is as a whole in the community. I honestly, <laughs> I, I honestly okay, just so want Twitter as a whole this. to get let me taken down. This. I right, think it on, was perfectly let me fine. This. To let me clarify this. Let me clarify this. So yeah. just to clarify, it's one of those I don't. I didn't support the shit he was doing, and yes, he should be held accountable, absolutely. But to per se completely ban him off of everything, not just Twitter, not just Twitter, off of I'm Amazon, off of Shopify, off of every Shower, single. What the fuck's he gonna do on Shopify? Thing. <laughs> Trump is an avid user of Shopify. I mean, the the fact that he got banned on Shopify is fucking ridiculous. No, no, just the fact that he's getting banned off of everything, everything, and then. You have like mm -hmm. all these other third party websites that are like um what what was the one website that uh that that got taken down? What was the name of it, LP? Parlor. You were, you, parlor. Parlor, parlor, yeah. It was parlor, like the yeah. Twitter. That was yeah, like Twitter and then they, Twitter and then without and then moderating moderating moderating. parlor off of their servers. And, well, and they yeah, want to make the excuse. Oh, we were pressured to. No, you were not. You were finding an excuse to Amazon. That's the reason you fucking did it. I get what chaos like is coming from. It's here. like a lot of these fucking companies. Mm -hmm. They say that they're pressured to, which maybe there's some extremists that say, "Oh, you better do this," but and that's about it. No, they're in control. The thing with Amazon is like they that was completely up to them. They they literally own the web hosting service. Like there's no one that can tell them to. Yeah, do they it or were not just finding it. an excuse to do it. And it's Absolutely. not it's not like it's not like having like a bad public image is gonna affect their web service. They host everyone. Everyone's dependent and reliant on them. No one's gonna give them a hard time because who else are they gonna turn to? Amazon's basically a monopoly at this point. And that's the whole issue as of late, um with like Google, Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft, um, is that they're all being tried a lot as of late in the senate for like mm -hmm. and you gotta think all of these giant corporations are. they're in cahoots with one another so if you make a public enemy yeah, out of one of them you're making it with all of them and it was proven that shit just got proven hard it's fucking already forward. been kind of proven but this yeah this is a much larger like this, example this is like it's... this is like really fucking proven and now they're gonna try to push it's like how long is it gonna be before you do something that one one politician doesn't agree with or one corporation doesn't agree with and then boom you're off the internet you can never use anything ever again like when when is it going to get to that point like honestly we're getting that fucking close to it honest to god like it could be fucking this year or next year to where that's going to be a common practice how it fucking happen it's like it's it's happened to him who's a fucking well, president I historical figure technically yeah so it's like now it can happen to a anyone. world leader it's like this is horse shit all i can say bro is trump got leafied you know haha gg we'll play easy game next maybe next yeah, time uh, leafied, I will say that, lol. and all i can say is that you know it happened and well i mean to be honest you like it can happen you gotta to think anybody of this too, like, because it's like if if you if you there's people that are like that say, "Oh, well, get your own platform. Just make your own platform." You can't even yeah, do I, that. That's what I was gonna get into. That. Like, the, I I think the issue is less so that, um, I think the issue is less so that they're banning people like that. I think it is an issue, mind you, but I think less so than the issue that they're monopolies that they haven't been kept in check. Oh, there's I think the issue of monopolization, dude. How there's what? companies that are suing fucking Amazon and tw and Google. Because of this shit, it's yeah. like fuck, dude. Like, like um, the the latest one, it's similar to the parlor thing. It's called Rumble, and it's yeah. like an, <laughs> it's basically like a right wing alternative to mm -hmm. YouTube. Oh, what are you thinking the same? Yeah, they're they're, 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 they're suing, suing <laughs> they're suing YouTube right now. Oh, they're yeah, suing they're YouTube, suing YouTube, and YouTube yeah. YouTube and Google both. Well, it's I mean, like a, it's the uh, same thing. Man, yeah. And and people are like, oh, well, they're just doing it because they can't get search fees. You know why? Because fucking google is trying to push more influence to their mainstream youtube video platform youtube fucking and i know i butcher that so hardcore but fucking they're trying to promote their mainstream shit 
And anything that's competition, they're trying to brush it on the rug because they don't benefit with competition. They don't. And they're trying to find a sly way to fucking brush every other bit of competition under the rug possible. And the excuse they're jumping to is the whole thing of, oh, well, people are saying hateful things. They're threatening violence, even though we don't know if it's 100 percent true or not. And some of them, yeah, they could be. Absolutely. And they need to be held accountable for it. they need to be arrested. They need to be put in jail. But as for the fucking platform itself, you can't hold the platform accountable because of a bunch of stupid morons. It's like, honestly, how, how long are we going to go until we just don't have any freedom or any rights or anything? Like, honest to fucking God, it's gotten to this point. I think curation of content is perfectly allowed, though. But yeah, I mean, depending on like yeah, the extent to which it is how and how long, fair though? I think it needs to be what what's it needs to be unbiased curation like, mm-hmm. and that's the problem. Yeah, it, there, need, there needs be. to be the, the the biggest issue is like clear cut policies and Bias. guidelines and like rules and stuff, and it's like inconsistency with that. You I know think that's when the we should have issue. had this discussion when the fucking whole world should have had this discussion right when the fucking internet was invented in the in 1990s, well, no had- dude. It That's when the shit should have been talked that. about. No one, no one had any fucking clue, though. This is what it was going to turn into. How as yeah. soon as it was, yeah, as soon as yeah, it started growing, it should have been Did talked you, about. Do you remember the early internet? Innovation. Was like, <laughs> you you know, literally had to buy a fucking AOL fucking internet I'm not CD about at the day spot. one, poop tart. I'm talking about <laughs> no, whenever it damn, really dude, exploded. Ko, bro, you act like you know the bro. internet like it, like hot, so, like chill eggs. It's so a prank, bro. Off. Don't be leafy right now, bro. We don't uh, want to be leafy right now. All right, go off. <laughs> I'm just joking. But fuck, but no, <laughs> yeah, I go off. In all seriousness, though, this, sh- this should have been talked about a long time ago, and now we have to talk about it moments before it being too Some of late. it was, but yeah, a lot of it not. Exactly. And unfortunately, a lot of it, people who had, because obviously, like, politicians and government, whatever, and lawmakers don't really have as much knowledge or experience with, like, technology. But a lot of people who developed like these companies or this technology or did kind of know more about it, who had more hindsight into it, or rather foresight, sorry. Um, Facebook? A oh, lot sorry, of them influenced with random like court cases and laws and stuff, like whatever. They influenced like the development of a lot of the kind of um, infrastructure today for them to monopolize it and do so well and like take advantage and like also have censorship where they want. Oh, whatever. Like a lot of the laws that developed like were out of just like seemingly like, um, man, I watched a video on this recently. I have to yeah. find it, whatever. <laughs> and, I, I forget where it was. Anyways, a lot, a lot of like the laws and stuff surrounding all this stuff are actually older, older laws in terms of like how they mm-hmm. can practice and function. But because law is law, even if it's like a stupid law, um, they like had it made out of like stupid random like cases like back when like no one even re- like thought like this kind of stuff would ever even like happen or exist. But the people with the foresight to like know it w- would go this way who are kind of like good like predictors of like and the only way that this can really be fixed is if you start modifying or editing or changing the laws. And it's yeah, that's not even going to happen. Like laws that's law. not even going to happen now. Or it's, it's going like, to take forever to do it. And it's it too even profitable. Does, the current hell. system's too profitable. Like, and they have too much money to influence it. Like, no one, it's not going to happen. Or it's going to be really difficult to make happen without like the government, like just straight up, like, I don't know, whatever. Law's stupid. I mean, law is a good thing to have, but the way it's structured here is stupid. It's one of the this is it's one of those points to where law needs to start being put down against corporations. That's one thing we need. That's one thing that definitely needs to be said. And I think this is something everyone can agree with: is that we we can't let these fucking giant corporations just fucking mind fuck all of us and let them get away with all this shit, though. Like honestly. It's like it. It's like ten years from now, wh- fucking. If you say like one small little bad word or whatever, boom, gone from the internet, never to be seen again. You can never touch it. Period. End of story. It's like it's gonna be like that if shit doesn't start changing. And do we really want that? Honestly, do we want that? 
It's like it's it's such a fucking problem. I'd be and dead I know I'm going then. on a huge tangent about this, but it's like <laughs> this shit, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. fuck this shit. That's all I could say. So yeah. I'm thinking of uh, moving to Mexico soon. No, no, no. Dude, Canada, dude. Bro, dude, what are you doing? Canada. Drake Bell? Where are you? Drake no, no, Bell? No, no, no. Mexico is like no man's land, dude. You make your own law there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Build up a corporation. <laughs> New America. Uh, I'll just have you heard about Drake Bell? Bell? <laughs> you guys know who Drake Bell is? Yes. Drake Bell, yeah. Isn't it weird? What are you talking? Uh, what are you bringing up here? The guy, the guy, the guy from Drake and Josh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he decided to move to Mexico around late twenty, like December, early December of twenty twenty, and change his last name to Campana. That's the was same that thing as Bell. Underage shit. That was. Yeah, going I don't yet. know. I don't know. I have probably, but he is. He made a music career. He even saying that all his social medias are now in Spanish. <laughs> Wait for real? Oh. Yeah, I'm not lying. And it, I listened to some name, of his dude. music. I listened to his music, right? I thought it was I. It wasn't. It was sort of bad, but not that bad. So it was like kind of listenable. But he was actually singing Spanish, and I thought it was the funniest shit. Cause I'm like, bro, you just ran away, bro, from a case, poggers. He went to Mexico, Doug. Turns out the lyrics are actually about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, I mean that, that, that shit's like allowed yeah. there, isn't it? That, maybe yeah. that's why he ran over there. Yeah, you, you, you know what the age of uh, you know? Never mind. Sixteen. <laughs> it's way different no. in Mexico, dude. What is like that fourteen? Shit's fucked. Something. I mean, you, you do people marry it's like, like uh, that. There's like it's seventeen. It's seventeen. Like it's seventeen. It's seventeen. It's just Mexico? a lot of bad things. There, no, yeah. there's that yeah. shit. Where, like the old dudes will like take like they'll like give a family money and they'll like marry like. That's in Venezuela, bro. What? Yeah, you're talking Venezuela. That's in Venezuela. No, yeah, that shit happens in Mexico too. I swear. Nigga. What? Mm. Well, let me look it up. There are some articles <laughs> I read a, a lot of it mainly happens about and around South America, dude. That's yeah, yeah South America. That's like when like Brazil. people actually be fucking paying. Yeah, that's oh, where all God, the Brazil keto Venezuela. shit happens. Yeah, Brazil, Brazil, Venezuela, and Colombia, bro. Those mm. are the three places that a bunch of shit happens. Yeah, mm. Mexico is just where they start crossing over, crossing through to get to the U.S. That's what's There's happening. There's some fuck shit in Mexico too, though. Yeah, because mm. a bunch oh, of them yeah, are trying to go to Mexico, trying to kick them out. Now that he's talking about Mexico, it reminds me of Cool Mad Games right now. Because I don't know, you guys heard like a theory of why the. You remember when the website was shutting down? Cool Mad Wait, Games? What's cool Mad cool Games. Mad Games. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that was my childhood. Supposedly, one of the theories of why they were. Supposedly, and nobody, like, it was just shutting down because nobody was really using it that much, I think. I don't know. But supposedly, one of the reasons was because it was owned by a Mexican cartel. Hell <laughs> I thought that was yeah. the funniest shit, bro. Imagine, bro, Yo, like, my what are you going to do, bro? Come on. supporting a Mexican cartel. Let's go. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Fucking, man. they're going to promote drugs to kids. Let's go, bro. Yo, is promote. that why I have so much weed? Yo, they're going to promote Cocaine? drugs no, to no, kids uh, via Papa's <laughs> Pizzeria, dude. <laughs> Yo, yo, the, the fucking math problems on coolmathgames.com are actually just, like, they're fucking accounting and, like, actual fucking work. They're having, like, they're outsourcing the people in this form of games. It's like, you think it's a random math problem? They're like, no, no, you're calculating our, like, distribution or, like, <laughs> accounts. Like, <laughs> free fucking, <laughs> free and work. Fucking... <laughs> yo, that's a pod champ. <laughs> Yo, oh. well, yo, what do you think? Uh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Is about? Oh fuck, man! What? Yeah, that's right. About what? what where in the think? world is Carmen San Diego? Did you not play those games in school? Uh, okay. Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> I I've heard, I've heard of it. I did, I did what, year? what year did that came out? Fuck <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Probably before I was born. <laughs> That's probably why. Okay. I just remember oh, yeah, yeah, Carmen San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> no, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Because you'd have that, you'd have um, oh, that there were, there's like so a, many like a... like you'd have the old like computer labs in school with like all the like math game or like somewhat like educational like what the fuck is that games, like a like, scholastic a scholastic fucking called? cartoon series? I feel like that's a cartoon series. I don't know. No, they made oh, a cartoon out of it too. I think they tried making. Oh, movie at one point. I forget. Oh yeah, god. Yeah. But no, it was a computer game originally. I, I think there were books. I don't know. Um, hold up. I'm gonna look this up. All right. Pog there was a really fun one that, like, whenever like 
everyone got like their turns like you're part of class like in the computer lab like mm -hmm. you had to take turns because there weren't enough computers and like everyone wanted the computer that had this one game installed it was um oh what was it called Horizon 4 let's go what Forza you guys see the trailer on the Bethesda's fucking making an Indiana goal. Jones game wait they are you guys want to play yeah the, the, the teaser looks sick I just hope uh, they actually do what? a good job it, it, it gives me like Uncharted vibes oh my god for which one Indiana Jones. Bethesda's making an Indiana Jones game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be it's gonna be featuring like um, um fucking uh, I like oh the Lego God, version better, bro. I'm what's a, his name, dude? I remember the old like Indiana, Indiana Jones game. Transformers? Just do it. What's his name? Uh fuck. Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf? Yo, you better have Shia LaBeouf in that shit. I think for uh No, they're not. They're not. I'm just saying they better. They better. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna kill him Bro, in the very start of the hilarious. game. <laughs> <laughs> they kill him in the like, beginning of the game. Guys, play a gun and said, "Just do it. <laughs> Just do it." <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, dude. Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it. <laughs> oh, yo, the Oregon Trail. There was um. There was. Yo, number munchers. Oh shit, that's old. I remember that shit. Um, there's uh, yeah, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Uh, what are the others? Um, uh, Freddy the Fish. What? I don't know. None <laughs> of the fun Treasure idea, Mountain. Bro. That was the fun one. That's the one everyone wanted to play. I never heard these games, dude. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I'm not, a, bro, but not any of the other ones, bro. I'm not yeah, as old as you, Glenn. Cereal box computer games. Uh, I heard about those. Didn't Dude, they when you like, like there was a point where like every cereal like company or brand or whatever the fuck, well, brand because they're all like one company. But um, didn't Quest made like a Doom version of a kids game, like a Quest Quest Quest? They, they, they all made they like had their like... own like computer games. They were actually good though. Weren't they like Doom uh, ripoffs? Uh, there were some. <laughs> Not all of them, though. I think like, like, um, I heard... Captain Crunch had this these cool ones. It was basically like a Captain Crunch like mini version, like rip off of this old comp PC game called Creatures. That game was mm -hmm. fucking weird. It was like a, uh, it's sort of like a. Uh, what were the things that would die? Like Tamagotchi and Yopa. It was like that sort of shit, but it was like a PC game. I don't know. That is creepy, weird kind of game. Um, yeah. with like hyper realism because they'd like use like I don't know. And it was. All the games are cool. Yeah, Chex yeah, Quest, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, they had one. Yeah, that's they made the Doom ripoff. I think that that's was actually the Doom ripoff. Yeah, but it was pretty good though, so it wasn't like. I remember when McDonald's had like the little uh, Sonic, um, little like mini Game Boy things where you could actually play like old Sonic sort of arcade style games on like the little handhelds. Dude, that, remember, man, I miss the days when McDonald's put out like good toys. Like they actually put like. Quality oh, yeah, enough uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, that is. Now they, yeah, like, cause like, it, I, I, I now miss, they have I miss Fortnite. McDonald's toys where I could choke on them and die. <laughs> I remember when uh, McDonald's started doing uh, Kids Bop, and I thought that was pretty cash money. Kids I Bop. Never, oh God, Kids that. Bop. I stayed away from <laughs> Kids <laughs> Bop. That, that's when I think that's when McDonald's toys went to shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's the Kids Bop, Bop era. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember to give this. I remember to. When they made stuff more collectible, I'm... like that was the good days. Like the Pokemon cards, dude. The McDonald's. Ooh, you know, they have, the, have the old card. Burger King, the the gold plated the Burger King yeah, yeah. Pokemon cards, dude. No, no, they, they didn't have cards. They had the Poke Balls, and they had the gold plated. I swear um, they had slabs they had of like cards at one sealed point. gold. They might have, but they had like yeah, these, because these really I, had, I I remember ones. as a kid, I got some. So there was like this can... giant like metallic Hold pokeball. On, let me, let me like, pull this shit up. Hold and on, it would on. open up with like a button, like a spring, and it had like a stand in there, and they had like this like Back when this Burger like King hard plastic good. sealed like slab of like gold that had like an engraving or printing of like one of four different Pokemon on there, then like the Pokemon bio on the back, and those are so collectible. I have like two of them, I think. I forget which yeah, Pokemon are on there. The I think one's really blog, tough. Bro. I might be wrong. Yeah, dude, he plays. You're the coolest kid in the blood, bro. Yeah, fucking him. Burger King had like gold plated ones too, apparently. Yeah, that's why I got. I have those. Yeah, what? Those are worth a lot. I think after the Pokemon, I think they might not be because stuff that was like cards. Well, actually, 
Oh, it might be worth something. <laughs> it's like I had um, whenever they were doing p promoting, I think either the third or the fourth gen. Remember the old Domino's or whatever Pizza Hut commercials or something for Pokemon? It was fourth like, gen they were pushing. It was like the old uh, uh, Burger King card. Gen 5 music hits differently, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Gen, gen 5, 5 music hits differently, bro. Dude, I didn't play Gen 5. Well, I did play Gen 5, but I hated it, so I stopped halfway through. No, no, yeah, no liked, nobody cares about the game. Like the first more. like break I took from Pokemon, I was like a religious Pokemon addict until Gen Five, and I just gave up on Pokemon for That's a while. Practically nobody me cares Sword about the game, bro. It's practically uh, Sword, and Sword and Shield. Shield. The music is fucking good in Sword and Shield. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of. Uh, the know. music's pretty good. That was like the one, like when I played the game, I was so hyped the whole playthrough of the game. Like it was a garbage game, but the music, like man, it got me into it. Damn, bro. I think it's the same thing in Gen bro. Five for people. He's there going to the fucking. I think, I think with Gen that Five. Pokemon I think it just was let down so hard because I mean it was it was going at it was right after a really strong Gen was was Gen Four. It was like at the peak. Gen I mean, Three was yeah. strong. Gen Two was strong. First Gen yeah, was just an original idea. We were really strong, but then Gen Four like, was like at the top game, dude. I think Gen mm. Three killed it. Like it, I mean, like it went. Nah, Gen, Gen Three four did was not good. kill it. Gen, Pearl and Diamond, fucking. We're like so under what like oh, man. I came in in Gen platinum, three platinum and I loved Gen four back. even more. Did you I play Emerald? Dude, yes, nothing, dude. Yeah. nothing yeah, compares yeah. to the Battle Friends. Nothing compares to the original Battle Friends here. I'm so sad. As they tried doing so many like we'll be knock of the Battle Friends here, but there's sure, yeah, but yeah. It's so god. As serial. for like, everything so... else that was in there, dude, just like the I'll map layout, the Pokemon, <laughs> legendary. never coming back. Dude, everything, man. He, he went to he went to take a shit again, bro. He, he's not coming back again. Yeah, he's not coming back. He's... So uh, that, that's it. <laughs> All right. So, so another well, topic. He's gonna live. He's gonna uh, live the water. Let me see. Ass. Let me see. Uh, Game Explain. It's a old gaming review. They review games. They're pretty old. I didn't know they were that old. They're they're since like they've been out since the two thousands. So they're pretty old. They're like machinima, but they just review games without like doing like content. I think content. I've heard of Game Explain. Yeah. I think I've heard so of recently, it. like some guys who used to work there, um, decided like they were in a, they were just talking about why they quit, and supposedly there was a reason. Uh, he just told a story of what well, one of the reasons why was because like I think he he had to review the the new Final Fantasy VII remake in two days oh, and review it and make a video out of it in two days. So he played the game for forty. He, he he said he barely slept for those two days because he actually played 40 hours of that game in two days. Uh, and cool. he had to review it. So, and he only got paid one to two dollars an hour. Bruh. Oh, wow. That, and I so that. he I'm only got, he only got, him, dude, what? So he, he got like $550 a month, even though he did like oh, yeah, two I'm reviews of games. More money than him. And I'm in retail. He did like. <laughs> mm, yeah, Yikes. that's pretty upsetting though. That's that sucks, bro. I bet I bet people yeah. flipping burgers are making more money than that boy. Yeah, bro. But I think now he's making cash now because he went somewhere else. But yeah, him. yeah, get out of that shit, fuck, dude. And then more people that used to work there also came out. Like the guy who's like the owner supposedly keeps the whole money and just underpays his employees. So that's, that's mostly scummy. the situation. That's fucking scummy. Yeah. Can he get sued yeah. for shit like that though? Because like in certain, he can, on... but like, yeah. I I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't Bro, know. Some, if some, some of those ex employees come out and they and they file a lawsuit on him, I don't know. He may be in trouble. Because like yeah. some states, I mean, the minimum payments like certain amount, and he went way below that, obviously. So I don't know. <laughs> what damn did. A dollar or two dollars an hour, bro. God trouble. damn. Dude. It's like honestly, it's Jesus like with money, you don't Christ. play you don't play with money. It's like before you yeah. even think about trying to underpay someone, you better check all them laws real quick, buddy. It's like honest to God. It's like for fuck's sake. But no, the fact that Game Explains doing that machinima stuff, like Kind of like what they did back back in the day with some of the other some of the cinemas content creators, how they underpaid them and shit, and put them on a long ass contract. It's just it's such a scummy tactic, and I yeah. and I'm glad that he was able to get out of there when he did, because honestly, shit, yeah. shit like that that can ruin someone's life. Mm -hmm. so it's like <laughs> so just, never do the machinima in twenty in the 2020s, bro. Leave that in yeah. the past.
And it's like for those that like are going out to like get opportunities with some of the gaming companies or just companies in general, do as much research as you can on them, man. Honestly, it's like don't jump straight into that Lucky Charms box. You I, will get bitten in the ass. I never, I, 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 I never knew much about Machinima to begin with. I always thought they were just sound of some bullshit like company. <laughs> so I, I never uh, really cared or looked into that. I'm surprised the people they had in Machinima who actually were there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think PewDiePie was also there before he got big. <laughs> and he, he got shit on. Oh, I thought on, that was Disney. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, that was Disney. He was with Disney before he got fucking banned from Disney for saying the N-word. Yeah. Oh, that bridge was a good memory, bro. Yeah, Chad moment. <laughs> right there. It was either that or because he um he did some not he he made a Nazi meme or whatever. It was one of the two. Yeah. yeah. One of them banned him off of Disney. I don't know. One of but he got I didn't even him. realize he was contracted with Disney to be honest. <laughs> yeah, he was. I'm not really a PewDiePie it wasn't, fan, it wasn't so very known know. until the news yeah. came out that he was banned. I well I'm not a PewDiePie fan, so I didn't know. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't until twenty sixteen whenever he had its edgy stuff. Yeah, I never, I, I still don't even enjoy it for some reason, dude. I don't know why. I don't think he's a bad person. I feel like he's really cool to talk to if you actually like just talk to him and you didn't know it was him until he tells you, like months later. Yeah, but like, I don't know. His... I just don't dig. Yeah. I can't watch his content, dude. I don't know. It's all right. Like I watch Ooh. his Reddit videos and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only watch his. Personally. I only watch his Reddit videos. Oh, of course yeah. you're... yeah, of course you'll watch Reddit shut videos up, of him. Shut, shut up! up. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> How much Reddit comment do you have? <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. Oh man. Um so recently uh the gaming live stream was uh uh live stream record was broken recently. Uh the last guy who held it was another Spanish Spanish speaking YouTuber. He was streaming on YouTube. He had like one million people watching him currently. But uh, recently, a guy named Greg F. Gref, Gref G, a Spanish streamer slash YouTuber, was streaming on Twitch, showing off his Fortnite skin and hit 2.5 million people watching him. Damn. And people were, were kind of confused, saying, Who the, who's this? But what then is- I realized, oh, he's a Spanish Spanish creator. What did his skin look he like? He got a lot of creator. I have no idea. I didn't even watch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just saw it. Like I saw, it, I saw it. Like I saw it. Right. It's, I just it's saw monu- it. It's a it's a monumental event in the gaming history. That's practically it right. is. Uh, okay. yeah. Honestly, feel good for him. I mean, and, and it's not necessarily something I'd watch either. I mean, one, I'm not Spanish speaking. Two, I'm not really a big mm-hmm. fan of Fortnite, so it's like I yeah. I wouldn't have no interest in it. But the Mandalorian I mean, for, for Fortnite. his fan base that supported him since they <laughs> won or whatever. I mean, they have a they have a right to pat themselves on the back. So honestly, good for him. That's but, that's all I can say to that. I'm gonna put comically small cups on Baby Yoda. Oh my God, fuck that's a Baby joke. Yoda. Okay, we can't spoil. Wait, we can't spoil Mandalorian. We can't. We can't. <laughs> People get mad Ma- at us. Mandalorian but... season three coming, bro. I can't wait. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure the majority of people already have seen it, so it's fine. And plus, how Just long? Uh, yeah, hey, and plus, how long has it been out for? So to I don't know how fair, long. I, I only been. recently watched it. To be fair. Yeah, so, well, you're slow. Uh, I'll... <laughs> there's, some, yeah, there's, there's, there's motherfuckers slower than me, bro. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Nah, I'm yeah, just true. saying. True. Yeah. Plus, they may not have Disney Plus to begin with, and I mean that's nobody script. cares about Disney. I don't Plus, have Disney bro. Plus, and just... I watched it. <laughs> yeah, because I just grew up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking uh... motherfuckers up, bro. Yeah, but yeah, Yo, Angel, watch... if you want to watch Disney Plus with us, let me know. I'll hook you up too, dude. <laughs> We're yeah, all Angel. using the same account. FYI, that's all I have to tell you, Angel. <laughs> We're all using Boy. the same account. Yeah, yeah, I got Disney Plus set up so um we can all watch it or whatever. So if we want to watch Mandalorian again, oh, that's we can. pretty cool. Yep. So, yeah, so... We can watch. Yep. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because um, oh, with, with the um, Disney That's Plus thing, because um, since you can't really screen share <laughs> it, they, they kind of blocked it how Netflix is done. They have this thing to where you can share it with um, different different accounts or whatever, or it's like the same amount of people that are in the account. It's like up to six people. So that's and what we, we were can... doing practically, and it's it's actually really cool. So. 
and then you can uh what's it call it uh group watch I think yeah that's, that, 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 that's the thing group watch and yeah then... we all watch it at the same time <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it's a really, it's a really cool concept. So it's like if you, if you and yeah. your mates on Discord are wanting to try to stream it, I mean, just whoever, whoever has the account, just make sure you have it to where, if you, if you want people to join you, it's people you trust. Because honestly, that you, you get, you're gonna have to share some information. That's all I can say. So just discretion, mm. <laughs> viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Yeah. Azalea Banks. Have you ever heard of Azalea Banks? Because I didn't know who the fuck she was until like I don't even know who Google that is her name. With. Yeah, so she's supposedly like a fucking rapper from the late 2000s, early 2010s, and like a radio host. I think I have no idea. She just appears in a lot of interviews. Uh, she recently, like I don't know why, just went live on Instagram and decided to do a ritual live, like a like an African style ritual called. Uh, Palo ritual it's like an african shit so she <laughs> she decided to dig up her dead cat and oh, boil it on God. stream and then use use her the bones for like some fucking pot oh, that she decorated and God. and i think she was trending on twitter i think pete is trying to get on her ass uh i don't know what's wait, going wait, on wait. is wait is there something that influenced her to do that like why that's she's just she's in she's into like fucking she, like, like black magic like she, African shit like rituals. She 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 says some things about other like female rappers and shit to do to be bad or fat or whatever. I don't know what the fuck she was talking about. <laughs> she on that voodoo shit, bro. What the fuck? You yeah, she's in that voodoo shit. Yeah. That's all I can say. Shit, bro. I, I was just like, yeah, man, oh she my god, bro. How? She it's wild. Like, <laughs> it's like, what? What was that one thing the Magoo said as a joke? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> not necromance but the other <laughs> oh yeah 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 the fucking necromance i don't know what it was bruh magoo fell asleep because uh we took too long understandable yeah. have a great day <laughs> understandable <laughs> yeah yeah bro yo uh <sighs> yo angel you want to be that you want to be her cat and get a uh, necromance bro fuck yeah, off it'll be epic <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna receive jack shit from this fucking necrophiliac. <laughs> NASA, bro. Who wants to go to space and shoot a movie, guys? Wait, what now? Oh yeah. Who wants to go that, to the yeah. NASA space station and uh, Tom Cruise, right? And record a movie. Yeah. We record a movie with Tom, Tom Cruise. Film a movie, you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's Tom Cruise is from Mission Impossible, right? He's the one who does the Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, he does. I don't he's, fuck he's from Mission Impossible. Okay, so he's yeah. gonna do the next movie like a scene in space, in actual space. Is so, it wait? It's good. Is it for like? When are they? When are they? Is it for another Mission it? Impossible movie? Is that what it's for? It was a yeah yeah. It was supposed to be recorded this year, but since the virus happened, uh, they're gonna delay it back. It's probably gonna come out like next year, not this year, 2025. but twenty twenty five. That is a fact, <laughs> accordingly, and we don't blow each other uh, up because of politics shit. <laughs> something goes I'm wrong and Tom Cruise dies in space. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. He yeah. does his own stunts, bro. He's like Jackie Chan, bro. He's yeah. gonna die. Yeah. No, not really. That's I don't, that was just a joke, bro. You mean Pog Bruce Lee, right? Chan, like, hey, guys. You mean Bruce what? Lee, not Jackie Chan? No, your... Jackie Chan does his own stunts. Yeah, I thought oh. Jackie Chan did his own stunts. Okay. Yeah, he, he that guy's crazy, bro. He he like <laughs> he fucking he Yo, slipped Jackie from a fucking, fucking pole. Deadly motherfucker, dude. Like, Yo, Jackie Chan's badass. Bruce Lee's not that deadly, bro. He dead. But... <laughs> when he was uh, alive, he was fucking deadly. Yeah. Bro, you fucking heard that fucking he, one inch punch or whatever like he... it is. It's, Bro, it's kind of sad that he did that to him. So shit. supposedly he worked out too much, and that's what caused his fucking death. Oof, it's pretty oh, upsetting. Rip. Hey man, yeah. don't work. Take break, guys. Never work out every day. Hit the grind, don't stop. Because you're gonna die. Tell that to all the hardcore, <laughs> hardcore bodybuilders. Yeah, the ones mm. that are all fucking swollen and shit, looking like the Incredible Hulk. The lifespan is not Shulk. that long. I can, I can say that. Shulk. Oh God, no, no, yeah. not Shulk. No. Like, I'm back. It's What's to, going on? It's time to. It's time to <gasps> fuck actually, up. What he, the fuck? He actually came oh, back. Oh shit, playing. You're actually back. You oh my God, he actually came back from the shit, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Fuck. I had to help out. How nice. was your poop? Uh, 
How was no, your poop? I what? I didn't poop. Yeah, how was your poop last, from last episode? How was your poop, bro? How was your yeah, caca? Last time you, you, that, was, that was the most oh, major dude, my, shit. Like, yeah, probably... my shit was backed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> Bro, I was smelling it from over here, and I'm across the country, dude. What the no, fuck? No, my shit doesn't smell. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it. No, it does. How do you know? Do you <laughs> smell it yourself? Because I would smell it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you mean? I'm in the same room. <laughs> it doesn't Whoever smell. doesn't smell it, melts it. Or is it the other way around? You ever smelt it? I feel like plant. Plant, do you have to breathe in your room? I food. No, because I don't need it. Because <laughs> my shit don't smell. <laughs> That's what they all say. All right, man. He no, shit one actually doesn't. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> But, uh, okay, okay honey. Honey. <laughs> Angel, give okay, this man a kiss. You, you don't fart either. Have <laughs> 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 you guys seen What's the Offline TV Rush gas, ever? Uh, the what? I rarely pass gas. Uh, we guys, <laughs> can we stop talking about shitting? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, you know you love that crap. Yo, yo, episode name, How Not to Shit. How Not to Take a Shit. <laughs> how Not to Poo. How not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sorry, to sorry. Poo. How Not to Defecate. Friendly, bro. <laughs> how Not to Defecate. How Not to Defecate. Have you guys, have you guys seen like the How Not to Have a Bell server? Movement. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you All right, anyways. Um, back anyways. To the, uh, take some Petal Bismol, guys. Just. So you don't get diarrhea. Cheese. All right. So uh, have you guys seen like the bunch of streamers and YouTubers going into the Rust server on the offline TV shit? Mm -hmm. XQC. Oh. I've noticed them doing that a lot. <laughs> I like how drama's actually been in there. Like, come on, the griefing is part of the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, did you see most really critical's take on it though? Most critical just came out with a video I, that was like I, shitting I on thought griefers. It was about, I thought it was just. I thought it was just. Stupid though. I'm like, I, no, I it was, it was it, a pretty stupid thought. take on his part. I get his point, but like he goes beyond his point to like shit on people who do grief. Yeah, but it's that's like, not come gonna on, change dude. Like, anything. Like I get, I get like the griefing. Like that's not the place for it on that server. But he was like starting to shit on like griefers in general. It's like, dude, it's the fucking game. Like you're being a bit of a. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know why? That's... You know why he was? Because someone griefed him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, the thing is, you can't really grieve him because his play style is like pretty, uh, just. He was RP based. He was RP based in the way. Yeah, so, he, so he doesn't, he doesn't actually try and accomplish anything in the game. Yeah. He's just, trying yeah, to he, he's just defending all his snowflake buddies because he's getting more social in the Twitch community. and He was red pilled. Yeah. <laughs> <Play> <laughs> said it, red not of us. Don't go yeah. after us. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I, I like a lot of his takes, but I don't take I don't I don't I take like them all the... like mindlessly like other people mm -hmm. do. Like yeah, moist critical no, said I, it. I will say he does. There's points to where he does say some really stupid shit. I will say that. I mean, there's yeah. things I agree with him on, but then there's times where it's like he, okay, he's better but... when it comes to YouTube stuff. I'll say that. Yeah, <laughs> I know, he, I know yeah. he's really yeah. active on Twitch and has been. He's now, really, been really, like... really active on both for a long time, but like him he's on YouTube better when it comes better, to YouTube. Opinion. Mm -hmm. like, I don't his, yeah. his takes I on YouTube, YouTube are better. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think like recently they banned like an actual Rust, uh, somebody who makes like Rust content on YouTube, because he supposedly did an RP when or like pick people up when they like he they he kill people. He just was hiding on a bush killing people. The whole the well, whole time. Well, that's the guy that most critical was calling out. Seems legit. Oh okay. Well okay. Like, so, he, didn't, he didn't like uh, the guy. But it's he, he, he was just like then, huh? he was doing. He was just playing. He was playing Russ. That's all I can say. That guy was just playing Russ. But like, if this fucking server already has a bunch of rules, right? I don't know. If they're like, should you follow them? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, any server that has like a thousand rules, you're just begging to get trolled. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just yeah. true. Yeah, don't expect everybody to follow. Don't expect like, anyone shit, to follow I, anything. Yeah, like, yeah it's, it's like, like none I, of these people actually know the game. I would intend They're trying to speak them. as like experts on a game in a community that like isn't theirs, and they're trying to like take the moral high ground on it. It's like, who the fuck are you? Well, <laughs> when I play a survival, <laughs> get the, the fuck, fuck out of my face. When I play a game like Rust Survival and all that stuff, the only the only thing that's in my mind is you know last man standing or every man for himself or a first come first I mean, serve. I mean, Rust is just like <laughs> Minecraft without the blocks and uh, guns. So yeah, I mean, it's yeah. pretty fun.
Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you know, every now and then we gotta throw in some TNT and blow shit up. That's just kind of that's just kind of the troll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, uh, yeah. Which I mean, we're gonna yeah. rage, but you know, if it happens to us, though, that is. I mean, that's the point of rush. I feel like that's, that will bring you back to my build. That's the mage. <laughs> It's all fun and games game until you're the one being trolled. Exactly. Ah, got him. That's Shadow's quote of the day, bro. Shadow's quote of the day. I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, dude, I got quotes for days. <laughs> historical quotes, even. <laughs> He's probably going to start right, bitching right, at me. All right, give us the historical on... quote, Mr. Historian. You're yeah, gay. Bro. Talk about the pain. Albert Einstein. Ah, I got it. Ah. <laughs> you're gay, Albert Einstein. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I didn't know he said that. Right. Whoa. Yeah. He said You'd that in surprised. 1964, bro. Search it up. 1964. Wait, learn something every day. <laughs> Have it towards the meme. It's like you, you have an obnoxious quote. He's like, he, he, how can you prove he said that? Well, how can you prove he did not say that? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know. Did I talk about this one about the Japanese company like going on Twitter, anime, yeah, like yeah, yeah. all their PSP? Yeah. I yeah. don't fucking. I just didn't remember. I think we talked a little bit about it. Yeah, a tad bit. Okay, then we did talk. All right. Because they're so yeah. upset. They're, I mean, Japanese corporations piss me off. Greed. No, but they didn't do it. No, in this it regard, was a guy. In this regard, they weren't wrong. In this regard, they weren't wrong. Really? No, yeah, but no, was, no. But the there company, was a guy. Because I have a whole other rant did. about like. <laughs> Japanese corporations. And, oh, God. Uh, uh, you wanna, it's, it's let me guess, Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it has to do with their tech companies. Or just, like, Japanese business practice in general. Actually, you're not well, wrong. I, mean, I agree with you on that. Like, okay. they're, they're, they're slacking. Oh, yeah. They are. Well, the business people are very different from the people, like, creating. Also, the creators, like, get screwed over in terms of, like, any pay whatsoever. Like, because like, Japan and Asia, like, they're trying to emulate, like, that's why, like, I had friends, like, in university who were from China saying, like, I, like, like America's more communist than China, and China's more, like, capitalist than America at this point. Like, because they're trying to emulate, like, the model, and, like, basically what, like, a lot of, like, Asian countries do at this point is, like, they emulate and take, like, what other people do, and they just do it, like, more efficiently and better. Sorry, that, I don't know if that's a controversial take, but it's true. Anyways... <laughs> um, a lot of the original <laughs> ideas for technology grants that are like in the world are come from Asia. But anyways, that's a whole other thing. But hey, anyway, to give them credit for this, anyways, my whole point on this is basically they were further behind. They caught up with the rest of the world, kind of later on in terms of more modern, like industrial revolution, whatever. But they did it like more efficiently, more quicker, more successfully. But anyways, these corporations are trying to emulate like capitalist America because it's successful, and you see how powerful America is, and you see how wealth, like how much money that all makes, Marvel. whatever, right? So they're trying to get into the game, but they go like balls to the wall, head in, and they have a more submissive culture that, and because of their structure, because it's not like built on freedom like America, it's built on other values, um, anyway, like cultural values and whatnot, and social, whatever norms and whatever. So they're able to take advantage more. And whatever they say goes. So, like, basically, business practice is like the <laughs> devil in Asia. I mean, it is here too, but they like get away with more over there. So, let they me have more say, control. What they care less about like their impression on people because they know their so people will we, go along right, with so whatever they do. And... If I could calculate all the people we probably made mad in this episode, we probably made politicians. I'm not shitting on the people. I'm shitting on the business people. Corporations bad. The... Japanese companies bad. <laughs> the dream stands. Who else did we make bad boys? Corp. Corporations bad in general. Just dream. corp stands. Call me Carson stands. Oh yeah, call me Carson stands. Uh, dream stands. Parlor, parlor, parlor uses game explain the right. The guys who rioted. You know they're probably listening to this too. Uh, yeah, those rioters. We probably uh, made them mad too. They're gonna Spanish have our heads. Fortnite creators. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some no, black rapper that. some rapper that yeah that does voodoo, voodoo rapper yeah uh, oh yeah super saiyan cat mario fans you know oh yeah they're they're they're, they're jacking it off right now <laughs> i know it was you angel yeah why well, you mute it <laughs> he died no, angel, dude you gotta close the episode for us yeah he's, do it bro he's do snuggling his body what? he's snuggling his yes. anime body Ended. pillar yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just end with that uh, we have an angry mob. No. How not to have an yeah. angry mob? <laughs> I'm just. Alright, do the funny, bro. Do the funny. Yeah, Angel, go ahead. And how not to get censored. Well, what? What funny?
What am I supposed to do? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, funny, that, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. Right, I'm gonna kill myself. See you guys later. <laughs> oh uh, peace God. out. I love, I love 2021. Let's I'm start off to a good start. Like that one lady's just like, cat. <laughs> let's uh, start off the year with a bang. Just like call me Carson. Say you know, let's go respect. Yeah. I got all the gimmicks in here. Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean a bang like him banging a son? 2021 is gonna be oh lit. God. Why you said everything <laughs> sexual? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. see you later. Are you, are you, All right. Are you, are you <laughs>